First at 11, a child tragedy in a South Florida neighborhood. A one-year-old dead at a home. The little boy possibly burned to death. And police spending a good part of tonight speaking to his mother as they try to find out if this was an accident or something much different. CBS 4's Hank Tester live at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters where the detective's work continues right now. Give us an update, Hank. Well, this is just an absolute horrific story, and you just wonder what was the mom thinking here when she didn't take the kid to a hospital. She just took it to another house in Ghouls. Let's take a look. No one wants to talk about it. Go away, a lady says. A ramshackle sprawling home in Ghouls. Estimates are 30 people live here, and it was here that a baby boy suffered a horrible death. Late Thursday, the body of a one-year-old baby boy taken to the morgue. We heard screams and hollowing, and my brother ran over to try to help with the situation and found the baby, the one-year-old, was laying on a dirty mattress outside in the yard, a dirty, nasty mattress. Cunningham's brother, Randy Joseph, administered CPR till fire rescue arrived. And when he probably came, and they tried to zip, they zip his jumper down like this, when they zip it down like this, and the, the paramedic said, oh my God. And I said, what the hell? The baby was burned Wednesday night in the Ranja, not taken to a hospital, brought to the ghoul's house. She was there telling me, please save my baby. I don't want to go back to jail. She brought the baby from the Ranja like that, and mother must be one of the older siblings, accidentally pulled water from, hot water from the stove onto the baby. Miami-Dade police and medical examiner on scene Police confirmed none of the neighbors' accounts as they investigated into the evening. Okay, back live here again. As we said, not much information coming out of the uh, Miami-Dade Police Department tonight. No word on any charges that might possibly be filed. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.